All right, something's up with my fuel injection. There's definitely something wrong with the bike. Last race in sea, and that's how it ends. Boo. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar channel. Well, we made it to Lake Havasu and we are crossing the London Bridge right now to go see what's over here on the other side. Uh, do a little exploring before the race tomorrow. Hey Carol, we're on the streets of Lake Havasu. Yay! <laughs> Cheers! Oh boy, what a weekend out in Lake Havasu. A long way to drive for such a short race, made even shorter by mechanical problems. Fortunately, I had Mrs. Rockstar with me, and we turned what might have otherwise been a very disappointing weekend into a nice getaway. Hope you have the energy to chase us around the track tomorrow and film videos. <laughs> That's a yes. All right. Now that's my Christmas carol. Lake Havasu is a picturesque, popular spring break destination. Even though spring breakers turn this place into a madhouse, around Christmas time, the place is a little more tame. So when I saw this venue on the schedule again, I knew I had to bring her with me. And the amazing Christmas lights display near the bridge had my wife smiling the whole weekend. So Carol has decided we're going to take a break here in the Tunnel of Lights. <laughs> it's very Christmassy in Lake Havasu, even though it's 70 degrees or something like that. Pretty warm. My race was only a 45 minute moto scheduled for late Sunday morning. So Saturday was the perfect time to get the lay of the course, put up the drone and get some filming done. And my wife and I got some fantastic shots. Considering how the race would end, you'd think I'd be happy with a start like this. I mean, you gotta focus on the positives, right? And how about that Lake Havasu getaway with all those Christmas lights? I mean, really, this is just a novice race after all. All things considered, should be pretty happy with this. Yeah, no. 
Anyone with as bad of a competitive nature as mine is not going to be okay with leaving the race for a mechanical issue. No amount of rainbows, puppy dogs, or flowers are going to make up for this crap. I can't lie, I was pretty pissed. I mean, sure, I loved having some time with Carol to get away and enjoy each other, but when I strap on the helmet and boots and line up for the race, stuff gets real. And I put myself at a real disadvantage to the competition by not showing up earlier and doing the unclassified practice race. And so while most of the other guys have had a chance to go around this track, I'm still feeling it out on the first lap. But it's not like I didn't have the same opportunities that the rest of the guys had. No, I made a choice to make this weekend and the race more of a just for funsies event. My first season in the B class starts in just a few weeks. My ribs still hurt, blah, blah, blah. I had every reason to take it easy, and I ended up doing just that. Even before the bike started having problems, I had given up trying to win. But it wasn't a complete surrender, because I still wanted to win. But when you approach a race the way I did, man, I'm already tired. <laughs> well, just finishing might be a more realistic goal. So this completes my third season of racing with Amra in the C-Class, and I've made a lot of friends in this group. I've talked about it before in other videos, these are a great group of guys. Even Bill here in front of me, who claims he'll never leave the C-Class and is perfectly happy being a sandbagger. And even though I'd like to win every race, I still want to see the guys that I consider friends be successful. Let's go Bill, come on, let's go! Look at him go, that dirty sandbagger. Love you, Bill. Anyways, the race didn't really go exactly the way that I wanted it to go, but I was extremely happy to see my friend Chris Bouchard finally get on a podium and finish second this race. Chris is one of the first guys in the C40 class to not only befriend me, but he's also been a supporter of the Joe Rockstar channel from just about the very beginning. Thanks a lot, man, and congratulations. You've worked so hard for this and you deserve it. And what great timing is this is the last race that we'll race together for a while as he'll be going to the B50 class and I'll be going to the B40 class. Besides making new friends and acquaintances, this season has seen this channel grow far beyond where I thought it would go, which has also brought material and financial support through Patreon and local businesses. I have to give a shout out to Colin at Roost Goggles who makes a quality set of goggles for half the price of the big brands and I wholeheartedly endorse them. I exclusively use Roost Goggles now. Then there's Dan Lutz, the owner of A Select Tile in Tucson, who supports me on Patreon because he truly enjoys the content. Heck, he never even asked me to promote his company. If you need some work done and you're in the area, please tell him Joe sent you. Cycle Skis and ATVs is another Tucson business and they really took customer service to a new level when they replaced my frame for free to get me back on the Husky even when the warranty didn't cover it all. Finally, I have to tip my cap to Nathan and Kevin at SP Suspension. A few years ago, I spent a lot of money on a suspension job from a competitor, and I wasn't very impressed. I was pretty sure that suspension tuning was just voodoo magic. What they did to my suspension has made the bike so much easier to ride, and that in turn has totally increased my confidence to hit rough stuff at higher speeds. And I'm sure you can see the difference in my videos. If you're in the market for any of these guys' services, please show them some love and give them a shot and let them know that Joe sent you. So with only a few weeks to go before the 2020 season starts, I'm still not sure exactly what's wrong with the Husky. Nathan from SP Suspension has a theory. So what I'm thinking is because you had this remap, they advanced your ignition and you're not running race gas. So what it's doing is it's pre-detonating the fuel. That's what it's making that clack, 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 clack noise. When you're under a big load, you're yes. down low in the RPM. Yeah. yeah. If you're, you're, you need to run race gas or you need to have it remapped again. Normally I do run race gas, but I ran out and I thought 91 would be fine. Hopefully this simple solution works out and the Husky will be more than ready for the 2020 season. If not, let's hope that Blaze Racing stands by their guarantee and gets this thing set right and back to me in time. I want to thank everybody who's been here since the beginning. I want to thank all of you who've been supporting me watching the channel through this rough 2018-2019 super season. And I'd like to invite anybody that wants to help support me through the 2020 season, please go to www.joerockstar.com and pledge your support. 
For everybody else, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share these videos, and we'll see you next time.